Charlemagne the God, uh, Andrew Schultz. He'll be here shortly. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and this week's podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system, Square, Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up, tailored to your brand or business, and optimized for every device. Easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated, optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place, all in your terms. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's start the show. Uh, Hezekiah Walker will be here in one second. Uh, Alex is here. Yeah. Taylor Gang is here. I was. I wonder why they, they still have www. and http at the front of these websites when nobody says them anymore. <laughs> what is even the point? I don't know, but I know it gets automatically populated even when you don't type it in. Really? Yeah. It's starting to feel like foreskin a little bit, though. <laughs> like I don't know if it's. I don't know if you need it. I don't know if it's necessary. I, you know, I don't know if you should get it clipped or whatever it is. But it's just there. Yeah, but I think it's needed. I'm pretty sure it's needed. Oh, that, so you're uncircumcised? Because so, <laughs> if, if I use that example and you say it's needed, that means that you're uncircumcised. I'm circumcised. I am circumcised. But I don't think circumcision is needed. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't, I've never had foreskin Wait, to know if it's needed or not. What? I don't think it's needed. Like, they lied to us and told us, like, oh, it's for health it's reasons like, and shit is. like that. It's not really. That's regular dick. Like, that's, right. that's supposed to be that way. When it comes to sex, it's needed, for sure. Yeah. What's needed? It's better if a guy is, what is it, uncircumcised? Circumcised. Or circumcised. Yeah. Because niggas, we don't know if you, y'all be dirty sometimes. Y'all don't be. Oh, yeah, for, first of all, I don't, even, I don't want to start the show talking about sex and penises, but. It's the what smack is the, mother. How many, circum, how many uncircumcised penises have you seen, Taylor? How many, tail, how many penises with hoodies Maybe have like you seen? Maybe like one tired? or two. Huh? One or two. And they were dirty? Did they need to feed their son? I mean, the ones or they were Caribbean, so most likely they probably weren't. So. Damn. I, I don't know if it's needed or not. You know, uh, I, I wonder what happens with the foreskin, though. What do they do with that? I, I do always think about that. With all the foreskin that they take off around the world daily... <laughs> I bet you a foreskin coat is fire though. Like a foreskin coat? Like you a, said like this a, before. You don't think so? I want one. I would buy a foreskin coat. If I was in another country and they was like, yo, this coat is made of foreskin, I probably would. In get another it. country, maybe they were accepted, not that's, here. That's but nobody very would odd. know it. That's very odd. And nobody would know, nobody would know it's nobody would know it's made of foreskin yeah, until but, I tell them. But you know. But when you say them, yeah, when you right. when you buy a foreskin coat, get my up. Recording, uh, oh, That's true. <laughs> when you buy a foreskin coat. Schultz? Oh, Schultz is what? Yeah, he's not my my <laughs> anyway, foreskin said no. coat. So that's huh? disgusting. He said no. No what? He wouldn't buy a foreskin coat. I would definitely buy me a foreskin coat, man. Um, I hope y'all are good out there. Thank you to everybody who's been buying my book, Get On Us a Die Line, Why Small Talk Sucks. Um, it debuted at number nine on the USA Today Let's go. Uh, yes. uh, best-selling book list. So thank you. I was number nine right behind Bill Maher. Bill Maher was number eight, which I still don't understand these fucking book lists, man, because Bill Maher was number one on other lists, but number eight on the USA Today list. I don't know what people... I don't know what contributes to people getting on bestsellers it's list. It's like a Spotify list or an Apple list. They be having it's different weird. people charting. It's weird. Yeah. I just, I'm happy that people are uh, getting it. I'm happy that people are reviewing it. I'm happy that people are talking about it. Salute to Amber Grimes. I saw Amber Grimes. You had it as a, your book club pick of the month, which I appreciate. There's a lot of different book clubs that got it as their book club pick of the month. Uh, we've been doing you know, the, uh, the, the, the autograph signings all over the country, and they've been very well. I was in D.C. this past week. Uh, I'll be in um, uh, Maryland this Saturday at an, an Arendelle Mills. I'll be at the Books a Million in Arendelle Mills uh, this Saturday at 2 p.m. signing copies of Get On to Die Line. And I'll be in L.A. on the 14th, June 14th, uh, at the Grove, the Barnes & Noble at the Grove at 7 p.m. So go to Why Small Talks, whysmalltalksucks.com. 
uh, to get tickets for those events. And I'm really thinking about going to going to LA again on Juneteenth. Come on. Oh yeah. Come on, what? I'm just reading you on. Why, why would you yell? Come on. Stop. But why would you I don't yell? Have time for this. Oh, yeah, I'm going. Out ever like here, I feel like y'all deserve. I feel like I deserve that here because y'all was on Drake's dick. That's not true. Rock- I don't know. It's just not you true. agree with me? Was he not? No, nah, I mean I got I got tickets for Kendrick's concert. So Shut up. not true. It uh, didn't even come out yet. Number I mean, one, I got it though. I've I always the early release. I, I've always said Kendrick is the leader of the new school of this generation. Okay, I never said you didn't. I always said he didn't want no problems. Drake didn't want no problems. With yeah, Kendrick. but you was like, oh no, because so- I'm being objective. Push ups was a good record, but let's not de- deviate from the fact. I don't even know why I'm talking to you because you're not going to be there. Juneteenth, <laughs> Kendrick I bet Lamar you I will. announced a concert called what's it called? The Pop Out. Pop Out, you. right? I don't the know. The Pop Out. Kendrick Lamar announced a concert called The Pop Out. Let me tell you why Kendrick Lamar is the blackest rapper ever. I don't think it's ever been a rapper as black as Kendrick Lamar. And there's been some black ass rappers. Yeah. <laughs> there's been some black ass rappers. Chuck D is a black ass rapper. KRS One is a black ass rapper. Jay Z has been a black ass rapper. I'm talking about unapologetically black since day one. Yeah, the pop out. The pop out. Yeah. Kendrick Lamar is so black that he's throwing a show on Juneteenth. He ain't over the beef. <laughs> Drake waved the white flag. Kendrick has not. Kendrick's still mad about that Freed the Slaves line. Mm. Kendrick is pissed off, highly pissed off about that line where Drake says, you rap like you want to free the slaves. You goddamn right. Yeah. And I'm going to celebrate the, 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 the slaves being freed on Juneteenth in L.A. at the Forum. And <laughs> also, this That's is crazy. This- That's crazy. A warning, like this isn't no offense to y'all, because Kendrick has a lot of white fans. It's not for y'all, y'all. It's not. Don't say that. It's not. Why, 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 they cannot be saying they're gonna try to be saying nigga in the crowd because they not, have done that. Not, why would they do that? They could they have. What do you mean? They're have you not, been to Ken, you've been to Kendrick concert before? Go, yes, and Kendrick, the, he, the young lady was rapping along to the song. I'm not talking about that. I'm literally talking about when I was in the in the stands for it for his last album. Yes, white but people. That's all concerts. That's though. all concerts. And that, that's what I'm saying. You it's not for y'all. To white people. You they ain't around nobody. Me. They because they. I looked around. Trust me. You trust ain't doing nothing. Trav around, came with me. Nothing. Trav came with me. We didn't see nothing. Looking none around of them. ain't doing nothing. Listen. We didn't see none of them say it, but they do be saying as it. A, as a white person who said n word at a concert, right? I never said that. Never. No. Never. Just rapping along. Well, I wouldn't say it. To Fifty Cent. I saw nothing? you at the 50 Cent show, bro. You no, turned around. I, I, I turned the fucking. You turned around. I was using every synapse in my brain to not say the N word. And that's too much. Yeah, I know. It's the hard. energy, you you on stage at the Garden 50 comes out. G Unit, what? We in here. What? Yeah. We can get the drummer popping. We but, but, but. You, you throwing up signs. It's going down. You crib walking. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm being set up for something. <laughs> nah, I don't know nah, what exactly know. it is. Kendrick Lamar yeah, yeah. is the blackest rapper ever. No, not even close. By far, not even close. Not even close. By far, who who's the who's a black who's the blackest rapper you could ever think of? Karis One. That's what he said. That. Yeah, Karis One up there. Chuck D. Chuck D. Hundred percent. Kendrick is the blackest. Shaq ever West. Up. If we're going with actual <laughs> skin tone. <laughs> Shout out to Shaq. I'm just saying, if we're actually if we're actually grading it, yes. Kendrick is the black rapper. Okay. Going to concert. Yeah, yeah. On Juneteenth, at the Forum, a building you sold out. I should be able to say the N-word there, you're saying? <laughs> no, I said, a warning. I said, Listen, if you guys are tossing it up, I'm going to throw it down. No, I said, it's not for y'all. How, how long did it take you to sell it for him up? Uh, I think a couple days. I think we oh, a couple days. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Kendrick should do that in a, a few minutes. Yeah. He, he should. should. This it's is Kendrick not, Lamar. No, it already, it already pre-sold. Oh, no. The pre-sale don't come until 4. We got to wait. 4 o'clock today? For us, it's Eastern time. For us. So, oh, so what time does it come out for them? 10. 10 in the morning? Yeah. Wait. Huh? What? It comes out in it comes out in LA time at 10 a.m. Late, it's just That's like... no for real. That's what it says. <laughs> no. At 10 a.m. Hold up, Taylor. Wait, you, got, you got me confused. So, 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 so if it comes out 10 o'clock LA time, then that means it'll be That's what it's 1 o'clock. 
uh, East Coast. One o'clock East Coast, four right o'clock here. CPT. Right what does it say? I can't see my eyes. <laughs> oh, my bad. I, I read it wrong. It's your bad. Tell my we bad, knew, sorry. We knew it was my your bad. bad. <laughs> okay. It was your bad so, five minutes ago. <laughs> listen, I'm making, I'm making late jokes and I showed up late to the pod. <laughs> but, okay. but that's why I should be able to say the word. I feel like I've done, <laughs> I feel like I've, I've, I've I'm not going to say it. I'm not gonna say it. You know what? It's as not much for y'all. Like, no me... offense, it's not for y'all. No offense, this we invented it. on June 10th. No offense, it's ours. What's yours? The word. <laughs> I mean, he got a point. I mean, you know what I mean? It's like, he got it. He got it. Y'all took it from I'm us. I'm saying the concert is not. Y'all everything I'm from saying us. the concert is not for y'all. Tap That's dancing. what I'm saying. The concert Tap is, for is white people from our fans. It's for Kendrick Lamar fans. You're right. I'm just saying for his white fans. Blackest rapper ever. He's doing a concert on Juneteenth. Is my chair in the right position? Yeah. Uh, he's doing it on Juneteenth. He's not over the beef. Oh. He's still mad about Drake saying, you rap like you want to free the slaves. So I'm going to do a concert on Juneteenth at the forum. Mind you, think about this. Kendrick hasn't performed Not Like Us anywhere. He hasn't performed any of these diss records anywhere. We're seeing all of these videos of how Not Like Us is turning up in L.A. One of the biggest things, I already hit head. I hit DJ head. I said head. You know, I'm going to be out there on the uh, 14th for my book signing. I'm at the Barnes & Noble at the Grove, 7 p.m. on that on that Friday. I want to go out because I want to see how Not Like Us is moving out in L.A. I want to feel that for myself. Yeah. Now I'm like, the forum? Juneteenth? Wow. That's great. Not Inglewood? Like us? Inglewood? Yeah. That's God. Yeah. You, we, we're probably going to be able to hear it in New York. <laughs> when Not Like Us comes on out there... If you're on the East Coast, you're probably going to hear it. That shit is going to feel like an earthquake when Not Like Us goes off in the form. Yeah. Do you not want to be there for that? No, I do want to be there for that. Do you not want to be there for Don't look at me. This is not for you. Are you? You're not going to be there. Tell me, on some real, like, don't play with me for real like <laughs> it that. It isn't for her. It's not for her. You're, it's not for Are you. Are y'all fucking serious? It's Stop playing with me. I'm it's not about for to. Us. You know what? I'm not even going to react to you. What you mean? I'm not going to react to y'all because y'all do owe me an apology. For what? And. What? You was the one saying you stank. <laughs> <laughs> was it even us? You feed your son today? It wasn't even us. <laughs> it's 72 degrees and sunny. You better feed your son. Did you feed your son today? It's all 72 jokes aside, and sunny. All Yo, jokes aside. Way, that all week, jokes aside. All week long, people have been saying that to me, and I've been getting caught with them. I'm like, what do you, what what do you mean? Like, I got daughters. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, Charlemagne, so you fed your son? I'm like, huh? You know what I mean? I'm at book signing and people are like, man, somebody's son hungry. Yo. And I'm like, oh, wait, I'm, why are you upset right now? Because she's not going to see Kendrick I on June I am going to see. I already told you I'm going to see it. Don't well, wait, what matter. day of the week is June 10th? It's on Wednesday. Wednesday. That's that's when we record Brilliant Idiots. You can't possibly <laughs> yeah, miss Brilliant Idiots. Right. And you're going to be working. Go with Trav to a prize show. Okay. I am doing that too. Go 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 somewhere. Go to a pride show where they. I, and it's Black Music Month. I it's am black going music. to be. Go to where they're doing gay karaoke. I'm going to be in LA. Gay karaoke. On so wait, they can do gay <laughs> where? Karaoke. Elementary schools? No. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> where? They where? don't like butt. They don't <laughs> like butt. <laughs> you do wait, gay karaoke. Why are you doing the gay <laughs> stuff? Why? Why are you the gay, gay karaoke? Why are you the gay? What What is that about? Are you um, gay? No, I they don't know don't why like he's. They don't no, like he. Butt. This is a this is a song he wants to do. Sometimes That's you gotta what... pop out and blow niggas. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> that looks acting too straight. Why is he around? <laughs> Watch. Gay karaoke. That's where you gonna be. Like, yeah, you want to go that's there? Where you gonna You're be. the one that wants to go there. Kendrick Lamar. I'm going hometown. there. You got me fucked up. You act like I don't got people in LA too. All I'm, Whoa. Simply, all I'm simply saying is, all I'm simply saying. What? Is, that's great. Salute to Kendrick. What? This is the black. <laughs> Wait, what did I just say? He's not over the beef. <laughs> he's still mad about Drake doing that "Free the Slaves" line. So he's throwing his concert on Juneteenth. He's gonna have. All, uh, LA is gonna be crazy that night. I mean, that is the place to be. On Wednesday, uh, where are we Wednesday? I haven't been excited yeah. about here. a concert in a long time. Like, yo, that is gonna be a moment. Mm. That is gonna be something I want to be at. And he probably announced an album. That's the other thing I'm thinking. I'm thinking he's gonna announce the album. That album I've been talking about, where I say I want him to be like super West Coast, like leaning into the West Coast sound. I think that's what we're gonna get. Cause mm. I'm, I'm seeing all of these different people. I'm seeing Problem talk about it. I'm seeing Terrence Martin talk about it. I feel like we're gonna get that West Coast album we've been waiting for from Kendrick. He might announce it there. Whoa. 
I don't know. Do you think the weekend pops out? For what? It is. Called, Do you think future? It is called. It's called Ken. It's called Ken and Friends. Mm. That would be phenomenal. I mean, weekend lives down a block. Mm. All I'm asking you, Kendrick, please. All I'm asking you, leave Kanye home. Oh, bring, oh bring, you can bring yes. all the friends out you want. Don't, don't let Kanye don't, make it don't, about don't, him. Don't Why would you it. think that he bring Kanye? Out? No, Kanye don't might try to insert himself in it. He's gonna make it That's about right. him. That's right. Yo, Kanye got great taste. Yo, I saw that that newest. Uh, Harassment lawsuit. Yo. And let me Come tell you on, something. What is wrong like with comedian, you? Yo. He's like Cartman. Everything <laughs> he says is like South Park. It pull is. up the quote. Now pull up the Instagram. Yeah, the Instagram? No, no the I'm, shorty. Son, you are oh, crazy. No, he got a tight. If you gonna do it, do it. Oh, like if you go He does have a tight. Yo, he got a specific type. And what if, and if you go shoot? You, I mean, <laughs> you gotta see this thing. This thing is crazy. I ain't see it. I just it's saw, like I, Kardashian on steroids. I just, just saw oh, no, girl's this girl's name, girl. Lauren. Just, <laughs> whole milk. <laughs> just whole milk our whole life. He's Woo. talking about uh, the case of Lauren. <laughs> I, I don't, allegedly, I, allegedly, allegedly, but I, I'm just saying, if you're gonna do it, no, Lauren, do it right. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, don't do it. You should never do it. I have a daughter. You have daughters. You should never do it. Yo, she must be fine then, because she was on OnlyFans, and then he made her the president of a company. Yo, god damn. Yo, pretty just, privileged. Just, br no just bring it you up. Went her just bring Instagram? it up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but then, <laughs> yeah, but just leave Kanye home. You know, if you're gonna do the friends thing, great. Yacht. Giyata. You're just a boob guy. Man. Nah, nah, whoa, she, whoa, 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 whoa. She got, whoa, she got, whoa, ass whoa. she got a fat white ass, way fatter than your shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, fat white ass. Way she got the white shit. dumper. White girls got the new dumpers. <laughs> and, that's right. God bless her. You know what I'm saying? If, yeah, like, you know. Yeah, right. There. I like right, man. Sure. It's not enough melanin for me. You don't think I she mean, got Charlemagne. a BBL? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. We're not at the Kendrick God. concert, bro. Just Man. enjoy it. Shut Just up. enjoy it, it for ain't right doing now. Nothing for me. I'm looking. Um, I'm looking. God bless her, though. I don't want to insult her. You know, I, mean, I don't want her to think of I don't want to insult her in no way, shape, or form. Yeah, obviously. No yes, insults. She definitely looks like a lot like Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. You see what Kanye saw, is what I'm saying. You should never do anything to make a girl uncomfortable yeah. at the workplace, yeah. obviously. Yeah. 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 You know Kanye, I mean? Kanye's an Escalade guy. <laughs> what does that mean, Charlamagne? Because <laughs> every year the Escalade comes out with new models. But it look exactly it look the, the same. same. It's just a lot of different features, you know. Uh, I mean? He's an Escalade guy. Oh, uh, you know? gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Like he's an Escalade no, he got a type, but it's not. It's his big, taste is on point. Yeah, I thought the big body Escalade too. He do. <laughs> he do. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the fact you said he had a racist dick. He was like, that was a crazy. You see the line he said? No. What he said? Pull up the line. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I did line. see that. He said the line was wild. He was like, it was my dick racist. These girls got to stop sharing texts if they want to stop sharing nudes. Let me see. <laughs> That's the same thing. What 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 yes. I what I text what I text is equivalent to your titties or pussy. <laughs> That is my personal IP. That is Hilarious. that I do not want that out in the world. Just Hilarious. like you don't want your tits and pussy out there in the world, Hilarious. and y'all can't share it. And if Sorry. you do share, you can go to get, jail for that. What's I think. The line? So, Make it big, Taylor. Good. It's for real. What's the line? <laughs> See my pro. Hold on. Yeah, right here. Where? Is my dick racist? It is. is my dick racist? This fucking racist dick of mine. I'm gonna beat this fucking. Make it big. Taylor. I'm gonna beat I'm, this fucking racist I'm dick for beat being this racist. racist. For being fucking racist. I'm gonna stare at the pictures of white, white women with black asses and, and beat, beat the, the fuck, fuck out of my racist, racist dick. dick. No, you put beat the suck out of my racist dick. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. He gonna beat his dick so much that he's not gonna want to even get it sucked anymore. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> beating the shit out. That's, that's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. You that's beating crazy. the shit out of it. Yeah. You know what they call it when you beating your dick and you call it racist? What is that? Masturbator. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> masturbation. When a white girl beats your black dick, is it called masturbating? <laughs> masturbating. <laughs> Masturb Yo, that's good. Well, when a white guy beats your black dick. You laugh at that joke, you're not going to Kendrick's show. Definitely yeah. masturbating. If you laugh at that joke, you're not all. going to Kendrick's show. Yo, Kendrick, leave your Yo. at home. I want, you can bring all the... By the way, you got to bring Metro in future. Because y'all had a number one record. That's what Absolutely. I'm saying. Like that is happening. Metro, Absolutely. Future, and The weekend are there... Forget about like it. Like that is happening. Yes. Like that is happening. But if like that is happening. Taylor is there, if 
Kanye's there. There are certain people that could ruin <laughs> the up. vibe. I'm y'all, just saying. Y'all know damn well I need to be there. There's Why no, do you need to be there? Because I was fighting for him for Yo, so much with y'all. What are y'all talking about? Pimp squeak pipe now look at you, hype uh, as fuck to say his quotes. Pimp squeak pipe You hype down. as fuck to say his quotes now. Calm Pimp down. Pimp squeak pipe Name down. One to... lyric from Kendrick are Lamar. You... What? Name one lyric from Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> Sometimes I don't you gotta know the song. Oh my no, god! I like that. No, no, not even that what, one. What? What? I like what? What? That no. fucking book. <laughs> what? 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 I'm gonna do my stuff. Uh, How do you not know that? Come on. Y'all are yelling over me. Come on. Yo, yeah. <laughs> they that shit not got like me us. Hot. They not like us. <laughs> Certified. Certified. Think about all the mutes that's gonna be there, all the deaf people. Oh. Yo, imagine having to do sign language to that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm stupid. Imagine that shit. That shit's gonna be phenomenal. Whap, 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 whap. I what are you, why are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Whap, 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 whap. Why don't you whap, say whap, why, why, like why are you not doing that? Why are you deaf, lip singing? You, yeah, this is how you were gonna join myself. This is how you okay. sign. Imagine that. This is how you sign wet ass pussy. Go whap, 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 whap. <laughs> I'm yeah. deaf and I'm mute and I'm in a wheelchair. Oh, it's shit. It's going to be real Crips and Kendrick show. <laughs> yeah, yes. It's going to be all types of Crips. <laughs> it's going to be an assorted flavor of Crips at Kendrick show. You hear me? <laughs> from, the, from the gang bangers to the people in the wheelchair. All right? <laughs> that is an event. This is a moment in time. I <laughs> know. I've been oh more excited God, than man. you. You're what not are you talking excited, about? Uh, you don't even want to go. You don't great. care. It, by the way, this might be the most phenomenal thing to happen on Juneteenth since Juneteenth has been recognized <laughs> as a holiday. <laughs> since, since Juneteenth has been recognized as a holiday, this might be the most phenomenal <laughs> thing ever. Kendrick Honestly, Lamar concert? Yeah. Can you imagine singing We Gonna Be All Right on Juneteenth? Don't it's imagine a, too hard honestly because you won't be there. I'm gonna go. It's like about, why are you acting like I'm not going? It's about time black people did something cool on Juneteenth. Yo, shut the fuck Cause, up. Because we <laughs> white people did start Juneteenth. So it's about time y'all did something to celebrate <laughs> on Juneteenth. You know what I mean? I'm gonna tell you why you got <laughs> no, no, Taylor, Think about it. Taylor, you think about racist, it. Why are you looking at me with your you eyes squinting? I'm That's you racist. You <laughs> You're racist. I'm gonna tell you why you have a point. Because Juneteenth. There'd be a lot of corny stuff happening, not because of black people, just because of the way corporate America... Of course! This is, like, a very dope event. This yeah. feels like, yo, we all need to be at the Forum in L.A. I already got my ticket. Celeb You're alive. You didn't get your I ticket. I got my flights. Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> yo, why would you do that? <laughs> why are you lying? To go out there and sell T-shirts? <laughs> you don't call it? <laughs> what you going to do? Why? Do? We have a hot dog! We have a hot dog! <laughs> <laughs> you gonna sell the bacon wrap hot dogs outside or no? Be honest. Y'all tripping. Like y'all really. Wah 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 wah. That fuck him up. Wah 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 wah. I'm gonna do my stuff. <laughs> oh, no, I hope man. you don't make it at all, man. Whoa. Wow. Because you was hyping Drake up crazy. Hell. I'm telling that lie. How? You do know all of these podcasts are recorded. And people we can watch. look back. Yeah. You were the one hyping Drake. <laughs> okay. I gave Drake props for push up. <laughs> Family and you was hype. All I'm saying was you was very you, hype. You know why I was hype? You know why I was hype? Because I knew what was about to happen. Oh, shut oh, up. Wow. Stop. Yeah. Wow. I, listen, there was never oh any God. doubt in my mind yeah. what was going to happen. Hey, no, we know this. It, 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 they can go back and watch the podcast. Man, get out of Die lying. They can go. Well, I'm gonna be honest about you not being at that show next week because you gotta work. I'm not. You think I'm? You act like I can't take off. Whoa, you can't. Whoa, yes, whoa. I can. No, you can't. Why can't I? Because Kendrick Guess wouldn't what? want you to do that. Kendrick would not want you to do that. Why wouldn't he? I get used here. Oh, yo, show me Big Thickums, yo. <laughs> Who's been Show me Aki and Sawfish Santana. <laughs> Wait a minute. What you just Show say? me Aki and Sawfish Santana, baby. I need to know. Oh, Sean. <laughs> uh. Show me Aki and Sawfish. Woo! God, yo, it's Woo! Then he gonna DM him, bro. That's too much to resist. 
That's too much to resist, man. <laughs> Sean Kingston. <laughs> you know what he looked like? What do you look Saucy like? Saucy Santana without his beard, like without all the makeup. He, lo- he looked like Saucy. <laughs> he looked like Saucy Santana just got home. It's been a long week. Saucy been out in these streets. He been touring. He been doing shows. Saucy just want to get home and take his bra off. Saucy, yes. Saucy ain't got no makeup on. Saucy ain't got no fingernails. Bruh. Saucy is just relaxing. But Saucy don't got a gut like that, though. Yeah. Yeah, Saucy ain't that big. Yeah. Yeah, he's a little, he's he not, like yeah. crawfish Santana. That's Aki and Sawfish Santana. <laughs> what is Sawfish? What's that? What's the Jamaican be? No, Aki, it... Aki and Sawfish Santana. It's called Sawfish? Salt. Salt, salt fish. Aki and oh. Saltfish Santana. Yeah, yeah, he's thick, man. He's thick. He I got look... some thighs on him. He looks relaxed, though. Like, yeah, why is he chilling? <laughs> he's on the iPad. Oh, yeah. If I send you that picture, I'm in for the night. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if I send you that, I am cool in. And he got a haircut. He's, yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> what is that? What? Do? I'm, I'm looking at the levels of relaxed in this Like, thing. he should oh. be more stressed. Oh, yeah. I got you, I got you. He got a haircut. He got a t-shirt on. He got his poom poom shorts. And he ain't what's, even got no slides on. What's going on with him? Him and his mom oh, got, yeah, his uh, he, ain't got, he barefoot. <laughs> Fraud charges. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, lo- I, I, I lost track of the case. Taking I- a phone call on the iPad is crazy. Walking out the house like that and knowing yeah. they were taking pictures of you right. was crazy. You, you yeah. see the size of his hand? Like he can't hit the buttons unless his eye. <laughs> <laughs> the size you of see his that what? big? His finger. Is that the problem? Yeah. God. Yo, shout out Sean Kingston and all Luke the beautiful Sean girls, Kingston, man. man. <laughs> that was a great song. I want to post that picture and just play Wobble. Put Wobble as the wow, music baby. on Instagram. Wobble, baby. Wobble, baby. Wobble, baby. Yo, did you see the picture of um, Diddy from the Slam Dunk Contest? Bro, that was so funny. That was so... Chase Buttinger jumps over Diddy, and Diddy is just staring into his shorts. It's 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 beyond freaky. Yeah. Somebody sent me that picture yesterday and they put freaky ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and so I took it upon myself to cuz I looked at that Diddy picture and God laughed damn. my ass off. God. And then oh, I, not the teeth out, not biting his ooh, lip. biting his bottom <laughs> lip. Biting your lip. God it. damn. The balls caress your head. God no, damn. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, that is a level of freaky that I can't even imagine. Nah, he's staring inside of me. <laughs> you should never bite your lip while you're staring inside a dude, man. That's whoa. It's like it's like in the slam dunk contest, you always think to yourself, when somebody jumps over somebody, when they nuts brush against your head, you don't feel it, bro. It's you like gotta feel it. It's like that pick looks like Diddy's been waiting for that all his for life. Years. <laughs> That was the crowning achievement of his career. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, that's crazy. Nuts on the waves is insane. <laughs> like, 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 like testicles on your waves? Yeah. I did this yesterday. I sent it to Duval. I wanted him to post it. Nah, bro. I put, <laughs> I put nah. Diddy looking up at Sean Kingston. Nah. Like, like, imagine they live in, like, condominiums and, like, Sean Kingston's balcony is above and he's dressed like that and Diddy's below him looking up by yeah. his lip. Look. I would never trust that balcony, man. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Uh, you just see the one. See the Jurassic Park water shaking when he walk out of bed. You're like, oh, inside, oh my God, inside, man. Oh my God. Yo, uh, go, 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 go. What Who is this guy? Adrian Broner's fighting. I don't. Did you see the clip? I, did. Are you thinking the same thing? I'm, I'm thinking, thinking the same, but I don't think he is. But you think it's like a, like the way Canelo fights on Cinco de Mayo on purpose? Wait, wait. What are you saying? <laughs> are you what? saying something different than I'm saying? No, I'm saying you know how Canelo's Mexican, so he yeah. likes to fight on Cinco de Mayo, and he likes to fight Mexican Independence Day. If you're trying to sell a fight, Pride Month. Oh, and is he fighting a, a I, Pride? It feel like that. Because when Adrian Broner said these comments, the dude was like, it's giving violence. You know yeah, I mean? he said it's giving violence. Giving violence? Like, play the No, he said you're a big man. Play it, Taylor. <laughs> yeah, the next, the next slide, shouty. I got guns with oh. them, bro. And, and, and I'm dead serious, bro. And all I got to do is point and they going to blow. And I'm dead serious, bro. And me and my nigga, we didn't already beat bodies and they still looking for me. <laughs> And every charge been acquitted, my 
So, so, so don't come up here playing. Don't, don't make no false moves. I'm not playing. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not playing. I will smack the shit out you, man. For real. I'm not playing. I'm not here to play. So don't play no games. Next one. So we go, we gonna promote the fight, but be, just be respectful. Don't do no dumb shit. And I'm, I'm serious, bro. Oh, for real, I, bro. I see I'm dead serious. Mother, shoot you in your shit. For real, bro. I, I'm, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. You ain't even about none of that. You ain't about none of that. You's a bitch, boy. He's, you ain't about none of that. And I'm dead serious. And I'm gonna show you. He's June. Angry. I'm gonna show you June seventh. <laughs> he's angry. He's so we go, we gonna promote the fight, but be, just he's angry. Now, I ain't angry. I'm dead serious, boy. You's a bitch, boy. You big mad. Yeah, <laughs> all, right, all right. Yeah, you could play. I ain't playing, boy. I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm, I'm gonna beat that. I'm gonna beat that off your nails, boy. You could use the physical. Boy. Some people beat the nail polish off you. For real, bro. I'm dead serious. She and, gonna beat and, the and suck out of him. Standing him for a good time. That's I'm for real. I'm for real. And and, and, and y'all gonna see that he's not on my level. He's nowhere near on my level. And I'm gonna show y'all. He's angry. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Do you think my man's got some sugar? Or? It feel like a good. It feel like a good event for Pride Month. I don't want no problems though, because this dude is like an American actor, martial artist, and former professional boxer. So I don't want to get ran down on him nowhere. What do you mean? He's a former Yo. professional boxer. He's still a boxer. Okay. It says Broner continued threatening Cobbs and even used a gay slur to describe him. He did. Yeah. yeah. He they, did. They muted it here, but he said. Which one? The nuclear bomb. Yeah. Oh, oh he no. let the. Oh, he let the nuke go. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> All right, maybe he knows something we don't know. I don't know, man. All I'm, huh? Whoa, where's that part out? Well, they well, said well. Cobbs aged him on and told him to get naked for me. I'm get out of here. I'm reading it right now on media. All right, where's that at, Taylor? I'm looking. I'm looking. Now is he just playing gay jokes or is he actually gay? I Bitch, don't. Boy, he's doing the Blair Cobbs. Let's see him hit the bag though. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> That's the gay shit. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor, can, can you press but I don't know if that's top so... left video? Can you just click it so we can see him hit the heavy Does bag? any of Adrian Borner's threats bother you? I this? see a lot of people writing articles saying he admitted the murder and this and that. Oh. oh, wow. I tell you what, Adrian Borner, you better back up all that shit you was talking. I know. Cause if that dude right there beat you, you remember oh. when Adrian Broner humped that dude in the ring that time? Oh, he getting hard. Oh, you getting humped, bro. Yeah, yeah. If Blair Cobb puts you on your ass, you getting humped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm telling you right now, A.B., if Blair Cobb puts you on your ass, you getting humped. Okay? Oh, no. <laughs> what? I mean, it's just a crazy scenario, like losing a fight to a guy. You remember that... when A.B. did that to that dude? I do. Yeah. You think Blair Cobb wouldn't do that? Yeah, but what happens What happens if Blair Cobbs does that and then he gets uh, aroused? What do you mean? He gets bricked up? Yeah, what happens if he gets bricked in the ring? Would they stop the fight? Would they... Would they... Depends. I mean, if he, if he went... I mean, if you win the fight... You can get as hard as you want. You can hump on the dude if you want to. <laughs> yeah. I don't what? see the problem. Also, it's not illegal to get hard in a <laughs> no, ring. No, it's no, not, no, you're you not doing anything. Up. And you might... You never know. You might, you might get off on that. That's actually a fantastic strategy. You should go in there hard. <laughs> just, I'm just saying, like, if you stop all the grabbing, you stop any like infighting. It's, it's <laughs> right because That'd I be imagine funny as shit. It'd be like, yeah, yo, yeah. ref, it's yeah, dick off, on, yo. Yo. And Then Blair just two piece you. That's that happened it. To De Deontay Wilder um, this weekend. He started talking to the ref like he got you know Zang hit him with a punch, mm. and it must have stunned Deontay so much that he didn't even know where he was. Bro, Deontay turned to the ref and started talking to the ref like the ref missed a foul call. Yeah. Bro. And then he got laid out. Bong. Bong. So it's, it could be the same thing. You just go in there looking at that. Blair Cobb going there with a Woody. Maybe get a little distracted. <laughs> Is it over for Deontay? Then he lost that one too? Yeah, I think he should yeah. retire. Oh, yeah, I think he should retire. He made enough money too, right? Like, Bro, there's not a, no heavyweights go out great. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's not even that he went out bad. Like, Deontay's lost, what, five, four fights? Yeah. And he lost to top talent. You lost to Tyson Fury twice. Yeah. You lost to Joseph Parker, who's a great boxer. Great boxer. And, you know, Zang, you know, caught you this weekend, you know? But you probably shouldn't have fought the Zang fight just because. Yeah. You, you, you know, it's over. And, I, and the only reason I say it's over, because, man, he fought, yo, that guy fought wars in the ring. Yeah. 
Those three fights with Tyson Fury alone. Yeah. The last, especially the, t the second and third. Yeah. Wars. Yeah, yeah. And you, he gets caught, too. He's not the best defender. That's so what he's I'm getting saying. caught by heavyweight hitters. That's what yeah. I'm saying. You don't got nothing to prove, Deontay. If I was you, I would hang it up. Yeah. Can Take you, the money and chill. You don't have the line? I want to hear him tell Adrian Bronner. I, to get I can't naked. find the video. It's just Adrian Bronner. <laughs> on Media I they said, and maybe it's on Media I, On Media I, it says, <laughs> That Bronner, uh, Bronner continued threatening Cobbs and even used Bronner continued threatening Cobbs and even used the gay slur to describe him. At one point, Bronner took off his shirt and insisted that the two of them could get on the scale today to prove he was already at the required fight weight. And amused Cobbs egged him on and told him to get naked for me. It says watch above via Don King Promotions. That's on media. I mean, I love it. I, I love it too. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now you got me into another Bronner fight. I like fight. it. Mm -hmm. I like it. You know, and if he is, and maybe he's gay and we don't know it. I don't know. Good for him, bro. And, and if he's not, yo, it's Pride Month. Play into it. Because you're going to have a lot of people from that community supporting. Yeah. Same way as so many black people going to go to the forum on They're... Wednesday. This... Without Taylor. What would you say? <laughs> <laughs> let's what? hear your boy. It is what it is. Who? Like, Let's hear your boy. Who's my boy? Drink. That's my boy? Drops a remix of Plain White Tees, Hey There, Delilah. You know this song? I didn't know that was really him. I thought that was just somebody put some AI. I thought it was AI? Yeah. So there's a guy in Toronto named uh, Snow Day, I think. And he did the remix of Hey There, Delilah, like, as a Toronto character. Mm -hmm. And then I guess Drake jumped on that remix. Mm. But uh, you guys think it's really him or you think it's... Uh... No, it's him, but I thought it was a challenge or something. I thought it was like a Toronto thing they were doing. Uh, it's probably like a really popular song up there. But I, I thought a lot of different artists were doing remakes of it specifically in Toronto. I don't know. That's what I was told. And I heard Drake just put his spin on it. What do you think? Smart move by Drake? Here's the thing, man. I saw... Let me hear it. My bad, okay. Word a little bit. What one did I double date me if you like me? Bro. Look what Kendrick made him do. It's just too smoky in these streets. You're looking sweet. Oh, don't you be acting me. These are the bobs yeah. that Drake was talking about. He's coming back with. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> I have a question. It's just a question. Here's the thing: it, you you asked me a question. You say was that a good move on Drake? Bro, Drake is home already. Yeah, Drake been home. Drake home was was home before this beef. Mm. There's nothing that was gonna hurt him. Right. In this situation, right. you know. If anything, it could only help him, right? But it damn sure didn't hurt him. Like, it's just a record. It's another Drake record. Drake likes to experiment with music. Right. Like, it, it, I, I don't, it don't bother me none. Like, mm. I don't like when Drake sings. I think it's terrible. I think Drake sounds horrible when he sings. Right. That's my personal opinion. So, do you think that that song is whack to me, but it's whack because I don't like to hear Drake sing? You don't think that his star is dimmed a little bit after the beef? I don't think his star is dimmed because of the beef. I think Drake's star is dim because Drake has been running, running this shit for the past decade. And I so think eventually, people just yeah. get a little bit. And, and and all you need is a reason. Like all all people need is a real reason to be like, eh, hmm. it's okay to not like this guy right now. And Kendrick gave people a real reason. Hmm. That's just the the, re, the truth to the matter. Because let's be honest, I'm a Kendrick Lamar fan. Been a Kendrick Lamar fan, you know. And I've always said Kendrick is the leader of the new school of this generation, but. Y'all weren't talking about Kendrick like this no. four months ago? Not at all. Like, not at all. Like, nobody was. Yeah. So it's like, eh, it's the same thing. It's just like, and, and also, the, the, the good thing for Kendrick is Kendrick does not put out music at the at the rate of the Drakes right. and the J. Coles. So everybody getting, what, four, was it four songs by Kendrick? In a span of a week and a half or two weeks, everybody like, oh, shit. And you gave us a slap mm. and not like us that's ringing out all summer. It's album time now. Mm. Now you about to give us this great show at the Forum on Juneteenth that Taylor won't be at. And he's probably going to announce an album at the same time. I can't time. wait to post my picture. It's show. like, it's dope. Like, yeah. it's dope. I don't, when, you say, when you say his star has dimmed a little bit, no. I don't think so. I think that on social media, the buzz and shit... People have a negative narrative about him, but if Drake walked through Manhattan right now, it'd be a riot. There's love. If Drake throws a show anywhere in the country right now, 
it's going to sell out. Yeah. So what is the gauge of... That's interesting. So it's like online perception shows one thing, but in reality, it's not there. You know it's not. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's still yeah. Drake at the end of the day. He came out the 21 Savage show. Granted, it was in Toronto. Everybody went crazy. Yeah. If Drake walked in here right now, Pipsqueak would get a picture with him. You would. I already had a picture with him. But you would get another one. Why not? Exactly. I, like, don't let social media fool you, y'all. Just because... That doesn't make any sense, though. What do you mean? I never said that I wasn't um, a fan. A fan of Drake, though. I'm just saying when it comes to Kendrick and Drake, yes, I'm going with Kendrick all the time. Absolutely. All I'm simply saying is nothing has changed for Drake, yo. Yeah. Except for online narratives. Yeah. And it's the same thing with Cole. Y'all did this to Cole. Y'all did this to Cole before you did it to Drake after he apologized. Well, My, Drake, J. Cole apologized. The motherfuckers were saying it was the end of the world for Cole. Career, Cole's career is over. You can't do that as a rapper. Shut the fuck up. I do know I some mean... people that like. They try to go back to Cole, and they're like, man, what he's saying isn't real. Yeah, until he comes out with another album. And then when the banger comes, That's everybody right. gets in line. The fall-off drops, they're going to jump right back on his dick. J. Cole ride a city bike through goddamn Manhattan right now, needing to feed his son. Motherfucker's still going to be taking pictures with him. I'm talking, no, but I think they're talking about more so like Cole saying like, oh yeah, I'm the best, da, 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 like saying all that. They don't want to, they don't not buy it. Yeah, but how many people more. were listening to Cole because he says he's the best? That's I right. don't think he ever said he's the best. I mean, he did, but he I said mean, it in the right yeah. way. Like, <laughs> all rappers right. say they're the best. Yeah, but what I'm saying is I don't think that you listen to him because he's braggadocious. Yeah. I think you listen to him for other other reasons. But I get right. what Charles is saying, which is like there's an online trend which creates a perception that doesn't match up with reality. Because in reality, all these people are going to be loved and respected and like people are going to be excited to finally meet them. And then on Twitter... There's there's a different energy because those people know that they'll never meet that person. I don't think the internet should like you. Ooh, what do you mean? Talk I feel like if the internet likes you, something's wrong. Meaning that you might be pandering to them Ooh. and telling them everything they want to hear. This or is, you may not be that hot. This is because if you were that hot, the natural human reaction would be to tear down. To the tear people it down, absolutely. So you build up the people who are the underdogs. So if you're unanimously loved on the internet. That means you're either an underdog or you are pandering to a niche group of people that have yes. no other representation. That's right. I can't make no YouTube reaction video to you if you fucking are are, are, are beloved. You yeah, know what wow. I mean? Or, no, if you're not beloved, the people who are beloved that actually have real bases and have people that really fuck with them. Yeah. I make videos about. Why do I make videos about them? I make videos about them because number one, I know their name gonna get clicks. That's right. Facts, yeah. And number two, they might have an audience that comes to tell me you don't know what the fuck you talking about. So now you're getting money off of both the haters and the celebrators. Come on. I don't want I don't want I don't want to be a Twitter darling. Interesting. Or a YouTube darling. <laughs> like, yeah. Talk. Just talk. If if what I do creates conversation and creates content Thank you. Yeah. Just please pronounce my name right and, you know, hold the book up. On when the you video. do it. That's all. That's it. I don't want to be a YouTube darling. No. That's a really interesting take. But I don't know. I feel like uh, Beyonce gets praise and love, zero Beyonce hate. Beyonce gets so much hate. It's so unbelievable. Hate. Where are you? Where, where does she so get hate? hate? She just happens to have an audience that, that can active. fight back against her. Uh -huh. she, she's actually the perfect person to have something negative to say about. Because her audience is so active on social media, the Beehive gets so active that if you go out, if you jump out there with a negative opinion about mm -hmm. Beyonce, the Beehive is coming. Yeah. So the country music thing was a perfect thing, oh, right? Oh yeah, you're right. Because country right. music is such a genre that has such passion fans that they want to stand up for the genre. They're going to have an opinion on whatever it is. They're going to have a good opinion about Beyonce doing country or a negative one. So you couple that and then add the Beehive in it. Oh my God. It's a massive recipe for online success. Yeah, I mean, imagine a video that's like exposing the real reason Beyonce sold out and did country. That's getting way more clicks than Beyonce delivered an amazing album. Mm -hmm. I bet that, you it's up there. Yeah. 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 I bet you yeah, if you yeah. Google YouTube right now, it's already one Because all of Beyonce's super fans are watching that video. Oh, my God. And then any Beyonce hater is watching that video. Mm -hmm. Beyonce's probably watching it. Like, well, why did I sell out? I would like to know. Sometimes it's good to know. I like it's it's funny. Like I can be on Instagram right now and somebody will be like, ain't nobody buying that fucking book. Yeah. Meanwhile, it's number nine bestseller on USA Today. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, so who gives a fuck? Let people talk. Like, who yeah. cares? Yeah. So I'm saying all that to say Drake has been around too long. 
J. Cole has been around too long. Kendrick has been around too long. All these guys have been around too long. They're too big to fail. Yeah, Their yeah. audiences will never let them fail, even if they're not the the popping thing on the internet. Who is the popping thing on the internet? Yeah. Who is the person on the internet that's being celebrated right now? Yeah. It don't happen. That's not the way the internet is designed. Yeah. It's designed for motherfuckers to go on there and shit on people. Yeah. That's what that's that is the shit. What that shit they call? That's the grist for the mill on the internet. Hmm. The Who, what's the grist yeah. for the, the grist mill? for the mill? What does right. that mean? They say you need grist for the mill. You're saying the same words again, but I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, shit needs fuel to go. Ah, uh, and that is what makes the fuel go on the internet. So interesting. And how do you think that people will start to see this, or do you think that you're so caught up in your echo chamber and wanting your your feelings validated that you just consume what validates them? I think the latter. Yeah. I think they will continue to consume what validates. Yeah. And we're all guilty of that. I think we all do that to a certain extent. Not me. I'm a masochist. So you like to see the things that you disagree with. I have to. Interesting. I, I have to. Like, I, cause I, I, I just like to see all perspectives. I like yeah. to see what everybody is talking about. Cause one thing I'm realizing nowadays is that so many people, they literally form their opinions and their narratives based off their hurt feelings. Mm. There's a lot of people speaking through their wounds. Yeah. And you be like, what the fuck? Like I saw that with the Caitlin Clark shit this week. Mm. Tell me. I had people mad at me. Cause I reposted Matt Barnes and they're like, you should be reposting women that are talking about these same takes and this and that. I'm like, first of all. Wait, what, what was the Matt Barnes take? Cause I remember. Matt Barnes take was just simple. It was like, yo, where's Caitlyn's teammates at? They need yo, an enforcer yeah, on their team. The enforcer Matt was like, I was yeah. the enforcer everywhere I went. I yeah. was there to protect Kobe, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. And I tried to explain to people that the reason Matt Barnes' take went so viral is for that reason. He is, he was an enforcer. Yeah. Why wouldn't I listen to an enforcer about enforcing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's the perfect person to talk about that. Yeah. That's not a gender thing. That's not a race thing. It's basketball. Because I thought the same thing when Caitlyn got knocked to the floor. Yeah, I was yeah. like, where's her Where's her teammate to come knock her? Yeah, you knock need the girl like that the, doctor. Yeah. Queen Latifah, power forward. You do. <laughs> to just go fuck some shit up. You do. Yeah, yeah so That's the girls it. think twice. Yeah. That's it. It was weird. Like, not a single person from her teammate, like, even here. came over. Like, I mean, don't don't get me started. It was weird. Get started. Don't get me started as probably, to why. I probably heard that. They probably don't like that she's getting all this attention. Because y'all women can't get along whoa, whoa, whoa. for nothing. That was a woman. Yeah. By the way, that was a woman who said that. Because yeah. that, that's the other take everybody's upset about. They like, stop with the narrative that women are jealous and this and that. I, Taylor just said that. I didn't say Listen, that. Listen, the most popular female shows, the most popular shows that women watch on TV are these like real housewife-esque shows where it's just women throwing champagne at each other for an hour long. They just argue right. and fight. That's what women like. They like cattiness. They like arguments. They like fights. The View, same. The View, same thing. It's just argument, cattiness, fight, judgment. Arguments, cattiness, fight, judgment. That's Bravo's built an entire network. Arguments, cattiness, fight, judgment, gossip, rumors, uh, the girl, the Vanderpump Rules shit. All Reality these. TV. It's drama. It's, but yeah. they love that. Now, men like to watch men get along. Ugh. I, I, I know you hate to see it, but for example, <laughs> we that. like to get along. If you even watch The Bachelorette, look at the energy on The Bachelor versus The Bachelorette. The guys that are the, the ones going out to get the wife, they tend to be friends with each other and they kind of like get along and they like they joke around. It's a kind of fun camaraderie. It's just what we do when we're around one another. We are competitive as hell, but it is we do we do start to have fun and bust balls. And, and I don't know if this is from like thousands of years of us like going out and being at war and like needing to get along and have fun together. It's just what men Why do. Why are you making that seem like? I'm telling you, women don't get along with one another. You I just love, don't. I love, I love Andrew You just don't, you Andrew don't get along with one another. Andrew takes of the best. It's, just, Listen, like, it's not misogyny, it's facts. It's what no, you it's like. No, it's not. We like seeing you, men. Like, so there's there'll be no men that argued at all. No, no, reality. I'm not saying that we don't argue but if you watch inside the nba it's constant arguments but at the end of the day they all fucking love each other they're busting balls yeah. they're, they're they're having a fucking great time if you watch any of these real housewife shows they all fucking hate each other we were just talking about the beef between drake and that Kendrick. was rap that's different it's a different genre i'll give you i'll give you an example you used to watch uh you used to watch i love new york yeah 
Did and the they guys, used to argue, did yes. Did the guys fight as much as the women did on Play for Love? Close. Yes. No, not no. even. Not close. Yes, they did. No. They did. They, did. they, did. they, did. they oh, was they homies. Did. That's why That's why those shows were actually kind of boring. Exactly. The guy shows are always more what? boring. They're more boring because we get they along. They did get in fights. I'm not saying they didn't why fight. Do you think, I'm just saying not as much as the women did. Why do you think we love sports? They didn't fight like that on Taylor, Taylor, Play Taylor, for Taylor, Love. Taylor, Taylor. Why do you it think? wasn't like baddies like how it is now. What is the Bad Girls Club? Fighting girls you the whole right. time. You're right. I mean, that's what, what is the, the blue face show? About. Fighting girls the whole time. This is what women do when they're around one another. We hit a reality show where it's wow. a, you know. We like to, but, but I think all people like We drama. like sports yeah. because we want to see if it's basketball, five dudes or 12 dudes come together and become a team. And through becoming a team and working through one another, uh, working with one another and becoming a family, go defeat the odds. That is what we like. We enjoy. We watch with football. We watch you those other things. You guys were just saying that we the best. We do love rivalries. Though. Exactly. Yes, but the rivalries <laughs> are our team. We love yeah. competition. We're going to compete about everything we do. Guys, we'll compete about, I mean, you saw the uh, Jordan thing where they were throwing quarters down an alley yeah. during the Jordan dock. We're going to compete about everything. But we love coming together with a specific goal. And accomplishing that goal, there there is but something there, to be said. There is something to be said about the fact that reality TV with a, with women has been successful for so long for all the reasons that you just stated, mm -hmm. and now that the WNBA has that, <laughs> it's getting some of the highest views that we've ever. Hey, seen. You just want to see there each other fight. But yeah, y'all like seeing that in NBA too, though. No, we don't. Uh -huh. We just want to see great right basketball. Now? Oh, God, God. Hit too hard. Yeah. They'll get really hurt. We don't want to. We want to see great we, basketball. We actually, you know we actually <laughs> condemn Draymond <laughs> like, when he's yeah. being extra yeah. physical. Yeah. We don't yeah. like that. When Draymond was out there being physical, y'all are full of shit. We told Dray stop bugging, yo. Huh? We told Draymond stop bugging. No, you didn't. We yes, did. we did. What? No, you didn't. Yes, we did. Roll the tape, Taylor. I, I will. I've never said I will. That. And, <laughs> I will. And, uh, what are you talking <laughs> about? And I think uh, <laughs> men don't like the arguing and bickering, but if we do have a problem, let's just take it there and just fight. Look, so that's why it. we like uh, fight sports, boxing, uh, yeah. UFC. I get it. I get but we it. don't like the in-between shit. Month for I we get don't it. like the in-between stuff. I get it. Stuff. I get it. I get the play on. I get it. I, I get it. Listen, I love Y'all just can't get along. It's not our fault that y'all can't get along, but okay. you're about to fuck up your opportunity because you can't get along. Simple as that. <laughs> I will say this, though. Here's, here's one of the most important things that nobody's talking about. Salute to Angel Reese. Salute to Caitlin Clark. Love the attention that they bring into the WNBA. They both still got to go out there and perform. Yeah, if y'all aren't good, yeah. it don't even matter at the end of the day. Like y'all could easily just become, you know, footnotes in the bigger the bigger scheme of all of this. Like y'all both have to go out there and be good. Let's be clear about one thing while we're sitting here talking about being good. The greatest women's basketball player in the world is from South Carolina, <laughs> and her name is Asia Motherfucking Wilson. Balled out last time night. MVP and is and is having a career. Career season this year. She might. They might as well give Asia the third, her third MVP right now. Mm -hmm. If you like the WNBA and you're coming to watch because of Caitlin and Angel, if you want to see like at least right now what greatness on the highest level looks like, it's Asia Wilson right yeah. now. Also, if I'm Angel, I'd let everybody give the attention to Caitlin. Like Caitlin, go out there and ball. Yeah, like Angel came out. She's like, I just want everybody to know that like there's. You, everybody's watching WNBA right now, and it's not because of one person, it's because of me too. And it's just like, your game isn't that exciting to want that pressure. Like, Caitlyn's game is exciting. She shoots logo threes. That's why the fuck people are watching, because we're like, we like logo threes. We like it when Steph does it. We like it when Dame does it. We just like when people are shooting these logo threes. We don't care about, like, That's not true. a layup underneath the basket. We don't give a flying not fuck about it, because there's been girls that have been doing that and playing that game effectively for years, and nobody gave a fuck. But she knows how to market herself like a Dennis Rodman. And I think we forget about somebody like a Rodman whose game may not have been about scoring points. He was the rebound guy. He was the defensive guy. But he was also very entertaining on and off the court. I think that's what Angel brings to the table. Like, she's a she's a double-double. She's a walking double-double. Right. She's going to give you her, her, her you know, double-digit points, and she's going to get her double-digit rebounds. But she's also just entertaining to watch. Like, you know, Angel will fall to the floor and make faces at the camera. She'll block the shot. She will fall off. She'll have the shoe in one hand mm. and be flexing, dancing. Like, she's just entertaining yeah. on and off the court. Got it. I think that's what she brings to the table. Fair enough. Yeah, that's yeah. what she brings to the table. I, don't, I mean... I just did, but like a Rodman or uh Draymond, Nobody's watching Rodman not, if he's not yeah, on the Bulls. They're not watching for that's that. That's not true. They, they're not putting asses in the seats. It's Rodman? 
No. Nobody. Nah, Robin was, bro. Robin, Robin, Robin became no a superstar. Way. Rob, there was a point you might can argue Dennis Robin at one point might have been the most popular person in the NBA. Okay, popular is different. Popular is different than the reason why people are watching the game. Like, I love watching Robin. Don't get me wrong. Like, I like the hustle plays, et cetera. I'm a basketball enthusiast at that point in time in my life. Yes, he was doing all these, like, off-the-court antics that were very entertaining, wearing the fucking dress, getting married to Madonna. When he started dyeing his hair every game. Yeah, that was shit crazy. was in the video games. That shit, his, his hair used to change color in the video games. Like, oh, shit. Sure, 100%. That being said, you want to get people to watch the game, you do what the fuck Michael Jordan was doing. Yeah. You do what Magic Johnson was doing. You do what Larry Bird was doing. You That's how you change the game and get eyeballs there. What Caitlin is doing in the WNBA hasn't been done, and it's exciting to go see. And these girls are out there. They're competitive. They're beating her ass. If I'm the WNBA, I'm giving her Jordan treatment. It's coming. But why, where the refs at? Like, yeah, but if why is I'm coming? Why, she get, should have it a, immediately. Yo, you need a like, David no, no, Stern. No, 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 David Stern was like... We're going to make sure the Knicks get the first pick. We're going to kick everybody the fuck out the league that's not going along with exactly what we want. The WNBA needs a David Stern to get in there and protect this girl yeah. and let them take it to the mountaintop. See, Nobody every, could lay a finger on Mike. And everybody will say, by the way, I, I said the same thing as far as the Jordan thing. And everybody will be like, no, they only want to protect her because she's white. Good. Well, they, <laughs> <laughs> they, they want to protect her because she's the star. Yes. And we've seen this happen with stars mm -hmm. before. It absolutely happened with Michael Jordan. Yeah. Good. It and absolutely it, happened. And with you know Michael what? Jordan. Everybody ended up making tens of millions of dollars because of it. So let it happen. Yeah. It needs but to happen. I don't think they should give her anything. But it needs to happen. Michael right had to now. take his lumps. No, no, no. It no. needs to happen now while you have the eyeballs. Because eyeballs, right you're worried now. that the eyeballs are going to go away. Yeah. But you can't just let her go out there and drop 30. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. That's, that would be the best thing <laughs> for the double. If she, she went still got to make the ball go in the hoop. She is missing some shots. That's that's just give so, a couple flagrant fouls. You let think, people you know. think when Kobe had his 81 game, they was d them hard? Pause. Whatever. You God, know what I mean. Dang. <laughs> Holy shit. So we talk about basketball. My you can't God. pause when yeah. you talk about basketball. Yeah. That's right. bad, crazy. No, that shit, was man. great. Right. That's that's just... They was d them hard. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think shit. they were playing hard defense? Kobe was fucking the shit out of somebody that game. All right. Kobe was giving somebody was getting fucked crazy. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, nobody was playing defense on them hard. That brought so many eyes to the game. I think they was trying to stop. No, them. I they, think they couldn't do nothing. No, come on, man. If come you look on, back yo. at that game, they were giving them so much room. Like once he got hot, they cook. You don't even remember yeah. who he was playing. I don't remember who he was playing. I know they weren't exactly. playing defense on them. Huh? I do. San Antonio. No, the Toronto Raptors. It gives Jalen Rose. That's why they did the whole commercial when they did uh, the commercial. Uh, did Jalen, how many olives? He looks in 81. Uh, <laughs> like, but I just remember that. But that game wasn't even on TV or nothing. That wasn't a televised game. That game, you, you really don't even know if that game existed. <laughs> we don't know if that game actually happened. <laughs> we what really do you don't. Say? All I'm simply saying is I don't think Caitlin should be given anything. But I do believe protect, you protect the golden goose. Yes. It's coming. And by the way, she's having a cool season. It's not like Caitlyn is having a fucked up season. Everybody's acting like she's having a fucked up season. A lot of turnovers, but she's the fastest. I think they said WNBA played uh, 100 points and 50 assists or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, like yeah. she's gonna be. Nah, fine. she's gonna be fine. She's, she's gonna, gonna be fine. fine. And she, she need, just like Jordan, she need to get her weight up. All right, she's a little light in the ass. Yeah. So she's getting thrown around <laughs> out there. Jordan had to do the same thing. Like, Jordan had to get beat up. Yeah, to get in the season. gym. He was balling. Detroit beat him up good, him up. for sure. And he went out there and put 25 pounds on me. I saw this other stat the other day where they was like, Jordan used to tell everybody, fuck that. Even when you get, we get eliminated from the playoffs, he used to practice and play all through July. Like, he was playing regular games because he said he knew his conditioning wasn't right. He didn't have his condition. He wasn't conditioned to play past a certain point because hmm. they would always get eliminated and then go on vacation and shit like that. Hmm. So he said, they said he would just practice and play like all through July something because that's when the NBA finals were. So he's ready for the finals yes. when it came around. Wow. And when you look at somebody like the Timberwolves now, they just simply gassed out. Yeah. Anthony yeah. Edwards, them ain't built to go past a Yo, certain point. What's this beef between uh, Adidas and Cam? I have no idea. <laughs> like, what happened? I don't know. I think. Cam made a statement on the show about um, Ant not being a superstar. Yeah, and Anthony okay. shot at him in the Adidas commercial. Yeah, and so then they uh, he what shot back. What did Ant say in the Adidas commercial? I didn't even hear it. So um, in the commercial, it's like the printing receipts, and so a receipt comes and it says the thing that Cam said about him, and then Ant was like, "Man, fuck him." That's it. 
And then Cam responded with <laughs> some bars. Cam is relentless. And now, not only did Cam respond with bars, now Cam he's coming came. out. Adidas. Now he's coming <laughs> he's out. Adidas. Adidas. Crazy. Cam is hilarious. Yo, <laughs> he posted a Kevin Ware. Do you know who Kevin Ware is? It's the, the guy, guy who, who broke his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah this is what your sneakers do. Yeah. He listed all the athletes that have had knee problems. <laughs> they were wearing Adidas or sponsored by Adidas. Yeah, that's a little. Wow. I know. That is crazy. But Kev is hilarious. Well, let's pay some bills, man. Shout out to the WNBA. All of this conversation about the WNBA is good, by the way. It don't matter. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second. Listen up. Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with more than 5 million members. It is the most fun and exciting way to get in on the action while you watch your favorite sports and players. I'm telling you, this is so easy and so much. It's scary how much fun it is because all you have to do is pick more or less on two or more players' stats for a shot to win up to 100 times your cash. Now, now keep this in mind here. You could go with basketball. They're going to have some lines. So like, Luca, uh, more or less than nine rebounds. It turns you into an expert. I feel like I can pick more or less on every single player in every sport out there. It's ridiculous. So... What you can do right now, you could pick women's basketball. You can get started. You got young stars like Caitlin Clark. How many times is she going to get uh, an elbow to the face? You got Angel Reese looking to make names for themselves alongside the greats like Brianna Stewart and Asia Wilson. You can win up 100 times uh, your cash watching them ball out. Prize Picks is available in more than 30 states across the country, including California, Texas, and Georgia. Prize Picks offers injury insurance so that your lineup stay, play, stay in play even if if one of your players gets injured this playoff basketball season, if you have a player who exits a game in the first half and does not return the second, Price Picks will have your back and not count that as a loss. Can you even imagine that? That is an absolutely amazing deal. I'm telling you, it is it is absolutely the most entertaining way to get after it. Um, Anthony Edwards, obviously he's no longer in the game, but we are going after him. Uh, every single game. More, 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 more. Jalen, more, 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 more. Um, there are times for you to start working, and there will always be a sport for you to get busy with. So right now you can download the app today and use the code IDIOTS for a first deposit match up to $100. That's right. Use the code IDIOTS in the prize pick app today, and the first deposit match will be up to $100. You put up $100. They're putting up $100 well, as well. You get busy. Enjoy the spoils. And now let's get back to the show. Uh, this episode has also been brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. If you have a business without a website, you don't have a business. I'm sorry. A business needs a website to legitimize it. How is someone going to Google you? How is someone going to DuckDuckGo you? Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing uh, brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time all in one place on your terms, Taylor, okay? Start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system, Squarespace blueprints, choose from professionally curated layouts, styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up, tailored to your brand or business and optimized for every device. Easy launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way that you want. With Fluid Engine, the next generation website editor from Squarespace, it's never been easier for anyone to unlock unbreakable creativity. Choose your website starting point and customize every design detail with reimagined drag and drop technology for desktop or mobile. Stretch your imagination online with Fluid Engine included in any new Squarespace site. So head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That is squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's get back to the show. All right, well, let's do some church announcements. What you got, Schultz? Um, uh, this weekend I'm in uh, Seattle and Vancouver, man. Thank you guys so much for selling out the shows. Uh, DeAndreShows.com. We just uh, added a couple more. I think we're going to add one more leg of the tour and then that's it. One more leg of the tour. We got to choose a place to film the the special. Okay. And, uh, but I think we'll do one more leg of the tour. That would be the last chance everybody has to go see, uh, the life tour. And, I'm surprised uh, you didn't do MSG. Say again? I'm surprised you didn't do MSG for I don't special. think that, uh, specials in arenas, uh, translate well. 
Okay. I think the show in arenas can translate, but I don't think the special does. I think the timing is off for the person at home. I think the venue should be a little bit more intimate. Yeah. And yeah. I think the fact that you're so big, you're so big right now, pause, that <laughs> doing it in a smaller venue just for the special is literally all about the art. Yeah. It ain't about looking at this crowd and like, damn, look at all these people that came to see Schultz. Yeah. No. Look how good Schultz is. Yeah. That's why all these people come to see Schultz. And it also, like, if, you know, if you've seen this hour, it's a very specific thing. And the story is very specific. And if if you've seen it, you understand, one, why... why it should be intimate. Yeah, why it should be intimate. And then, two, like why it's different when I say, like, this tour is done, meaning I'm never going to tell this story again after this tour finishes. So... You should probably do a comedy club, bro. I don't... I think I think you need a certain level. I think you need a certain size because a certain size allows for performance. You know what I mean? Like, you just want, don't want to go too big where you lose intimacy, but you want to be big enough where you can really perform and yeah. lean in and, like... Yeah, so I, I think... I think we baby have some places dick. in mind. Say again. Baby bear dick. Baby band aid. Baby bear dick. Or you can say baby bear porridge. What is that? It's just right. Just right. Baby That's bear right. porridge. Just right. What the anyway, what about fuck? you, man? What's your, what's what your uh, the fuck? baby bear? I know he's talking, he's talking about the Baron Steve little bear, bear, man. Yeah. yeah, just right. But the um, baby's bear's dick, though. <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> Come on, son. Right, crazy. Listen, this Saturday I'll be at, uh, in Arundel Mills in Maryland at 2 p.m. at the Books a Million. Uh, I'll be there signing copies of my new book, Get Honest and Die Lying, Why Small Talk Sucks. June 14th, I'll be at the Barnes & Noble at the Grove in Los Angeles, California at 7 p.m. signing copies of my new book, Why Small Talk Sucks. Um, yeah, Get Honest and Die Lying, Why Small Talk Sucks, available everywhere you buy books now. What else we got, Taylor Gang? How you feeling about the uh, the love you've received? Um, I feel good. I see people saying that this is my best book yet, which is... You know, I never even thought about it like that because, I, you know, it's, it's, I don't think about books as a catalog. Like, you know, I just think about these are my thoughts. At you this know, this point is what in I'm time feeling life. at the time. But maybe, you know, you know I guess people do compare it like that. They do compare, like, albums or stand-up sure. specials or whatever else. So, yeah, I mean, I, I like the reception that it's getting. You know, I like I like when I come on people's platform and they want to talk about the book. Yeah. Because even if you want to talk about politics, if you read the book— they're in there. I got a whole chapter called The Language of Politics is Dead. I got another chapter called, um, you know, Death of a Nation with my guy Aaron Magruder. And, you know, that's why I salute to Stephanie Rule, uh, her show, The 11th Hour on MSNBC. I thought she did a great interview the other night with me because she made it about the book and the questions that she had for me, mm. you know, about politics were from the book. Yeah. You know, because, yeah. you know, we in the soundbite era. So everybody wants to get a soundbite. Yeah. I don't know how many times I have to tell y'all over and over. I represent the one in four Americans who has unfavorable views about Trump and Biden. Yeah. yeah. So take what you want. Yeah. When I'm uh, if I'm having these conversations, if I say something negative about Biden, the right, if y'all want to take that and run with it, cool. Yeah. If I say something negative about Trump, left, if y'all want to take that and run with it, cool. I just hate when y'all when you do stupid shit. When the right takes the yeah. what they want, and then the left, instead of going to listen to what the fuck I said, just starts attacking me yeah. because of the narrative that the right put out. Like that's just dumb yeah. and it's lazy. Yeah. And that's exactly what my book is about. My book is about that laziness of communication. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, nobody's really just having honest conversations anymore. Nobody's actually... Well, let me go see what that person actually said because there's no way they could have they could have said that. Right. You hear things nowadays and I'm like, nah. Nah, not it. I don't think that's what he actually said not or it. what she said. Yeah. Let me go see for myself. Yeah. And then when you see, you're like, oh, they didn't say that for real. Yeah. So, let's do some asking idiots. Yeah. That's what y'all know, too. Um... There's a new breath control for men that you should do, like, with gel rubber. Let's do some asking idiots, man. <laughs> there is a birth control for men, though. <laughs> Shout out to Body, too. Body, I love your verse on... Uh... But no, not not to fuck around. Did you hear about the the, the birth control for men? No. There is... It's they've been, gel. like, developing this. What is yeah. it called? Um... Not feeding your son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not feeding your son. <laughs> Ladies, don't feed your son. Trust me. You won't ever have to worry about getting pregnant. Is if you if you don't feed your son, you won't have to worry about what is it? Getting a gel? Pregnant. The medication after years and they're making a new type of birth control for men may soon be available. Uh, the side effects for that shit is probably crazy. You know? Yeah, that should probably Olympic for your dick. I don't know why you want that shit. Would you take a birth control if it shrunk your dick an inch? Nope. 
Fuck no. Would you take a birth control if it grew your dick an inch? Yes. <laughs> I mean, so that's it. Figure that out. That's right. <laughs> Just so find a way stupid. to make the, your dick an inch wow, bigger, and then we'll take it, up. right? I get a couple more inches, bro. I'm out here. I'm on some, like, okay, okay. What do you, wait, what do you mean you're out here? I mean, out here, like, on some, like, I won't look at pornos anymore and be like, fuck. Oh, you won't have I the knew that y'all did up. that. What? <laughs> I knew y'all was looking at other niggas' dicks, like, and comparing. First of all, God damn I racist. Did. That shit sounded racist yeah. as fuck yeah. just now. I don't do that. Um, okay, white guys' dicks. I don't look at the guys' dicks in porn. Lies. I don't. You can't miss them. You so you just watch one of them. Go, go. Next the time lesbian. you want to go on porn up, Google BBC. You won't have no choice but to look at some of them shit. I'm like, <laughs> this shit got to be fake. What? Crazy or what? Man, that should be wild sometimes. Like, yo, these dudes be holding their dicks and only putting some of it in. I'm like, that shit ain't real. Ain't no fucking way, yo. I think ah, I think if they hold it at the face, at it's fake. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. If yo, you hold it at the yo, this face, one dude was holding this shit like this and like. Yeah, it's a prosthetic. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I saw no one way. dude in a rowboat and he was just. <laughs> I seen that yeah, shit. it was I crazy. Seen that shit. It was crazy. <laughs> I saw the body. Body, uh, salute to Cardi, man. She came to my oh, daughter's Oh, I saw that, dude. That was oh, crazy. That was fine. Dope. Salute to Cardi for coming to my daughter's sweet. How sweet. Now, what's the story of that happening? I mean, my daughter, like, here's the thing I don't ask nobody for nothing. Yeah. I don't ask no artist for nothing. Never have. I just that's just not the way I get down. And um, but you know, you got a daughter, you got a daughter now who's 16. Like my daughter started wanting to go to concerts last year. So it's like we went to two concerts last year, Ed Sheeran and Scissor. That's what she likes. Ed Sheeran, she likes Scissor, she likes Phoebe Bridges, she likes Cardi, like she likes a lot of different music, but those are and A Boogie, those are people she talk about a lot, right? And so like, when the fuck you gonna start liking Ed? That's that's Ed, my guy, Ed, yo, yeah. you know, like, cool, you know. Only thing I worry about with stuff like that is like when she gets older, the experience that she gets at these concerts ain't gonna be the same. Nope. If <laughs> she not with pop. That's okay. You know what I'm That's saying? That's okay. Which though. is fine. That's okay. Right? Until she gets her own identity yeah. and stuff like that. But it's like, yo, you know, and she, and she likes to bring her friends, which is always cool. Because her friends don't know. It's not like she's telling her friends, like, yeah, you know, we probably gonna be there. It's none of that. Yeah, 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 So, like, when the friend and the mom... They go crazy. Oh, my God. Especially the Ed show was crazy. Because, yeah, like, yeah, every yeah. superstar white person was there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's Ed Sheeran yeah. and Thor, Chris yeah. Helmsworth, and the, what's the other guy to be with Jimmy Kimmel? Uh, Jimmy Fallon. No. He Matt. Oh, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Oh, yeah, yeah, You yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? So it's the like, other guy that be with Jimmy <laughs> Kimmel. <laughs> Did you just call Matt Damon <laughs> one of the greatest actors the Matt of Damon. our time? The other guy that be with Jimmy Kimmel, the Matt Damon. But yeah. then the same, and then you know, same thing with Scissor. Like, yo, you know, top dog punching my people. Like, yo, you know. Yeah. So we go to the concert, whatever, whatever. But it's just like she was turning sixteen, and I don't know if it's because she watches how I spoil her mom. Because, you know, for her mom's 40th, we did a lot. Went crazy. And, you know, my wife's favorite artist is Erica Badu, yeah. Jill Scott. Full stop. Those are her two favorite artists of all time. I've been to more Jill Scott and Erica Badu concerts in my life than probably anybody. Yeah. And so it's like when my wife turned 40, we had the same thing. A nice little private party. God bless Erica Badu. The queen mother goddess came through and DJ. Wow. wow. My wife had no idea. Like, and we were in a... A, a burger joint in in New Jersey, and uh, you know what I mean, wow. like not even like not. We weren't. There wasn't nothing classy, f fancy. Yeah, yeah. there's like 40, 50 of us. And sweet Erica Badu came through. Love Erica Badu to death. She came through and DJ. Wow. And so it's like my daughter been talking to me for months about Sweet Sixteen and can you know somebody come to my party? And I'm like, what the f what the fuck is this MTV? Like, yeah. <laughs> so I just was like, I, I, I asked a couple people. I asked who, I asked who she liked. Clearly, I don't know anything about no Phoebe Bridges or nobody. No, no, no Phoebe Bridges. I asked a couple people, and um, a lot of people were booked up. Like they had, you know, other shows and stuff like that. And um, Cardi was actually scheduled to be somewhere, but then it got moved. And when it got moved, it was like, "Yo, you want me? You still need me for the second? I'm like, "Yes." And she pulled up. Wow. You know, and so I, I salute Barty for that because you know I, I got I got big bulletproof love for Barty. I've been supporting Barty forever. Like yeah. when Barty was on Instagram reposting Barty, had you know Barty was on my TV show Uncommon Sense back in the day. Yeah. Like like that was what that was like what, 2013? Yeah. 2012, 2013, something like that. So my point is, 
I got mad love for Barty, and Barty's just a person who is is a very real individual who, I, who, I, who reciprocates the love. Wow. So, you know, she made a memory for my daughter and her friends. Now, was your daughter gr very grateful? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Are you and her great now? I know we you're saying. Been great. Yeah, that's my daughter. I love my daughter. We always, we super great. But she's like, my daughter ain't phased by nothing. She's a very, she's a very gracious person. Yeah, yeah. And gratitude is her attitude, just like her dad. So, you know, she definitely told Cardi, thank you. And it was good. It was a good, it was a good event. And none of the kids knew she was coming. So it just was. Uh, Did your them. daughter know? My daughter knew because she tricked Nyla. Oh. She went up to Nyla while Nyla was DJing. And said, "What time is the artist going to get here?" Hmm. Wow! And I don't know what the fuck was on Nyla's problem, but Nyla goes, "Oh yeah, Cardi will be here in like ten minutes." <laughs> and then what? What? what, what and, so my, and so my daughter goes, huh, "Cardi's coming!" And then so Nyla goes, "That's when she realized she didn't know." Okay, hold on. So, <laughs> what the fuck? if you didn't have Cardi, were you freaking out? You were gonna let her down? Like, how much stress were you going through? I had two. I had two people that were supposed to come. The first person, the first person didn't come. The first person, the first person was going to come, but then something happened with their schedule literally at the last minute, and they had to be where they were supposed to be at in New York at a certain time. But I wasn't tripping because I knew I knew I had. I, I just knew I knew I had Cardi. I, I wasn't tripping. Like I knew Cardi was going to show up because I know Cardi, and Cardi's going. If Cardi give you her word that she's going to do something, she, she got it. Yes, yeah, so I was. I was. I wasn't tripping. I wasn't tripping. My 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 only thing was like I know it's between six and ten. So what time should I tell her to be here? Because uh, I don't want her to be here too late, you know? And she came at the perfect time. Yeah. Like, literally right in the middle of everything. Like, it was, it was. oh, man, it couldn't have been. It, it, that was, it was all God, yo. And the kids went crazy? Oh, they went crazy, man. Because they had no idea. All They had, they didn't even know somebody was coming at all. Oh, wow. They was just like, they took, you know, kids party. They in the hallways and stuff. It was like, okay, everybody get back in the ballroom. So they got back in the ballroom. They didn't know what they were anticipating. They don't know if it was going to be a cake lighting or the candle lighting, or whatever. Yeah. And, you know, Barty just walks in and the, they went crazy. What song did she come out to? She came out to uh, Wannabe, Wannabe Remix. Yeah, she did Wannabe. She came out to so. Wannabe. That's her new one. That's the new one. With, oh. That's the new one with uh, Gorilla and Meg Thee Stallion. And, you know, she walked in, kids went crazy, and Barty was so gracious. She stayed, danced with the kids. I'm thinking, I don't want her to be overwhelmed. So I'm like, yo, you good? You want to get out? Because she was like, nah. And she just sat there, partied with the kids, you know, dancing to not just her records, but Sexy Red records and Lotto records wow. and Gorilla records. Like she And taking pictures with everybody. Wow. Took like two or three to go plates. <laughs> and, 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 and it was dip. love. And dip, man. That's so, fire. So That's really Barty, cool. Yeah, That's, That's really cool. Love Barty, man. And I got boys. So for all y'all out there, I'm looking in the camera saying this. For all y'all out there who always want to say Charlemagne is biased, in regards to Cardi B, you right. Yes, I am. <laughs> Very. Okay. I was biased before. I'm even more biased now. Big bulletproof love for Barty. Okay? All right, guys. Let's take a break for a second. You already know what time it is. Hard dick season. It's summer. Okay? Balls hot, dick hard. Fast forward. Blue Chew is going to help you get there. Same active ingredient that's inside Viagra Cialis, but this is the chew. This one that we rock with. This is the one to keep your girl satisfied with. You keep your wife happy with. You keep your side chick quiet with. It's Blue Chew, okay? And you can get your first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. When you go to bluechew.com, use the promo code IDIOTS. Look at that. Free, hard, dick delivered to your doorstep. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. You are welcome. Bluechew.com, promo code IDIOTS. Now let's get back to the show. Okay. Th this is a good uh, This is a good uh, question. Socket.var. What was the most recent white lie you told for no reason? Mm. Love you guys. I got one. Tell me. I gaslit the fuck out of my wife, bro. Talk to me. Love when gas wives get gaslit. Oh, it was beautiful. Talk to me. She's breastfeeding. Right. Before she's breastfeeding, she made like a salad. Mm. Right. She goes, there's a salad in there for you. I go in. I see the salad. I come back. I was like, can I make you a plate? She goes, she goes, yeah. I go. I go, yes, please. Or something like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I don't know why I was feeling like I needed like some sort of like uh, pleasantry or something like that. But I was like, yes, please. And she goes, she said, you didn't say thank you. 
when I said I made the salad, and I go, that's the first thing I said. I knew full well I said thank you. <laughs> that's the first thing I said. I said, yes, of course. I said, thank you. And then I I locked in and I stayed true to my gaslighting. Mm. And I almost made myself believe that I said thank you for the salad initially. Mm. To the point where as I'm telling the story, I'm like, I might have actually said thank you. <laughs> I'm so committed Those to the gaslight. I gaslight myself. The best lies are the yeah. lies that you tell yourself. And, and you, believe. you believe. it. Oh, my God. Mm. That's good. All right. <laughs> tell me when you did a good gaslight. Good gas? I don't gaslight. Man, that's oh a lie. Oh, my God. He's you doing it right did now. He's doing it right like now. 20 minutes. I don't gaslight. I don't gaslight. We, we gaslit you for the whole exactly. beginning of the pod. The time. It's one gaslight. of our favorite you things to be true. just told a lie saying I'm not going to be at the fucking concert. You I mean, we do tell you the truth. When I'm about to be the in the first row, too. The name of my new book is Get Honest to Die Lying, Why Small Talk Sucks, and it's about... Uh, stop lying to yourself and stop volunteering those lies to others. There was no reason for Taylor to tell us that she's going to be at the concert. Uh, what else we got, Taylor? Give us one more. No one's lying. Okay. We scroll down. We gotta get another uh oh, I can't wait to fight you. <laughs> Why you wanna fight me, man? God damn. You know who used to say that a lot? You you say it every fucking you know morning. You say that a lot? You know who used to say that a lot? What? You know who, who used to say that a lot. So you better stop. Who? You know who used to say that a lot. Who, who, who? who, who I don't know. Who, who. Uh, I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. Who? I don't know. Who? She, he said. She said. I can't wait to fight you. Yeah. Oh shit. Mm. Oh now, shit. Now this is a good answer. You gotta let me know the fuck he's <laughs> talking about. <laughs> Can we consider steroids the male version of BBLs? Yeah, of course. Fuck yeah. They are BBLs. Hell yeah. They are. Steroids are a hundred percent the male version. So are beards. Never beards. Nah. A beard is a BBL. My wife told me she wanted me to grow a beard out last night. She's like, I want you to grow your beard out. I don't know how to take that. She doesn't like your she facial structure. She, yes. Hi, <laughs> because you've been saying that you've been looking. Like, <laughs> that hurt you. <laughs> amazing. It's amazing that you just take joy in anything that may hurt my feelings. Isn't that crazy? It's like kind of really crazy how isn't that, that is, crazy? That is what makes you laugh uncontrollably. Like she's having Any such a. Because you time. are so hyped, but turn it around. Turn it around so the camera can see. Anytime, anytime Charlemagne might have his feelings hurt just a little bit, they and, relish. Oh my God. They relish. I mean, just, you got tears in your eyes. <laughs> Because my wife told me she wanted me to grow a beard out. Why is that making you fun? Why because is that making you Because you were so hyped. Turn around. Turn your book around. <laughs> this is rom-com fun, girl. <laughs> but clearly she's not feeling it. So grow your fucking beard out. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, that, that got to hurt a little bit. That one was crazy. If you ended that with the N-word, that would have been yeah. a crazy situation. <laughs> Bro, your fucking beard out. <laughs> this is why he gaslights like you. Another question. That's yeah. another question, please. Okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm going to grow my beard out. Soon as Taylor, let me get some of her facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> got none. That's cute. That was cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ooh, this is a good one. We can end on this. Go. DJ Mike Torch. Uh oh. Is there a way you can make the truth entertaining? Yes. Gaslight. <laughs> Gaslight and lie. I think the truth is entertaining, though. Yeah. I just think that y'all don't want to hear the truth. I always say nobody cares about the truth when the lie is more entertaining. But the reality is, the truth, if you choose to actually listen to it, is more entertaining than the lie. Yeah. And you know why it's more entertaining than the lie? Because it actually happened. That's, yeah. The that, reality of things are always more entertaining than the lie. Y'all just don't want to deal with the reality of things. The I think that the truth is the most entertaining. It's just a lot of times you're afraid to be truthful in the moment. Like, let's say someone's talking to you and you're bored. The truth might be to say, hey, stop talking. This is really boring. That is unbelievably entertaining. Yes. But you don't want to be yes. truthful. Yes. Your true feelings about almost every issue are the most hilarious. So you sit there in small talk. Yeah. And because you sit there in small talk, you don't never get to what you actually want to say. In my daily affirmation book this morning, it talks about how you leave the house every day and the word, the word uh, personality comes from... I think it's a Latin word or a Greek word called persona, mm. which basically means the mask. Mask you put on. So you put the mask on all the motherfucking time. So to your point, there's things you don't want to do, right? There's things you actually want to say mm. that you don't. Yeah. So if you imagine if we all just told the truth. Yeah. 
If we all told the truth, life would be way more entertaining. Mm -hmm. It I would told be. somebody last night, they, we are at the point in our life, <clears throat> and we started like this, right? Okay. We started shooting you didn't oh, know no as better as kids as kids yeah you tell somebody you look old and, exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but even as you grow as adults in our fields you shoot this kid shot me the other day he said uh he goes uh he goes what temperature is it i go uh it's 83 he goes no not how old you are <laughs> see what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> see what i'm saying see what i'm saying and by the way even in this business in the industry we start off shooting yeah telling the truth yeah and then we like Wait a minute. Well, I don't want to fuck up the bag, Wait man. Wait a minute. You yeah. know what I mean? Wait a minute. And then now we at the point where we like, you know what? Fuck it fuck up. Fuck all that, man. What? 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 Fuck it up. Like, I told somebody that shit yesterday. I'm like, everybody should just go for it. When I saw Pat McAfee. What'd he do? I gave him donkey of the day just because, you know, Pat, you still got to protect yourself with just a little bit. We got to be. What'd he do? What'd he do? When he called Creighton Clark a white bitch. <laughs> right? Why'd he call her that? He yes, did it yeah. as a term of endearment. What'd he say? He was like, Something about the rook clap, but he was like, play the clip, Taylor. No, we can end on this. Hold on. He said, this white bitch. I saw somebody on Twitter upset about it. it, it, it here's the point. Wasn't she on his show regularly? Was she on the apology or the original? Play, the, play when he cursed, when he called it. Okay. Oh, to me, I thought it just slipped. People that continue to say, this rookie class, this rookie class, this rookie class, nah. Just call it for what it is. There's one white bitch for the Indiana team. Talking too freely. Pat, Pat, you talk, you, you, I get it. Pat, you, 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 I get it. You're the guy, you produce your own show for ESPN, but you got, you, you, you can't do that, Pat. Pat, you do your thing, bro. I'm not listening. <laughs> nah, we need to let them know. That I'm not mad back. at it. That I'm, but, is I'm, back, I'm not mad at it. Yep. All I'm simply... Talk about them too. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, now it's fucked up. Relax. Hold on. Now it's Relax. fucked up. Relax. You know, my point is the same with Pat. You don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need it. But it was entertaining when I just That's what I'm saying. <laughs> let, this, what, what I'm saying. let this shit fly. Yeah, is them what them 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 oh. them Talk about all them Pat. As always. Keep them fire. As always, if you listen to the if you listen to the podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant. You're absolutely right. But if you listen to the podcast and you think we're just a couple, <laughs> you're right too. Thank you for listening. <laughs>